We're going to go ahead and call our October 2nd um, Budget and Finance Committee to order. Um, I think it's befitting for us to extend our prayers and condolences uh, to Las Vegas, also to Burnett Chapel Church of Christ, and to the family uh, Melanie Crow Smith. Um, we'll go ahead and begin our agenda items with RS 2017-865. Approves an agreement between the Tennessee Department of Transportation and the Department of Public Works for the reimbursement of railroad crossing safety improvements at Baker Station Road. Sponsors Purdue, Purdue Virtues, and others. Um, this has been requested to be indefinitely deferred. I would ask for a representative from Public Works to come up and speak to uh, RS 865 um, in addition to 866 through 870. Thank you, Council Eddie. I'm Sharon Wallstrom with the Department of Public Works. We have been in contact with TDOT on these. We received a letter that this particular location at Baker Station Road, that uh, the, the government funding has undergone a review and the, the numbers have been changed. So for all of these that are at the railroad crossings from this point forward, actually as of March 5th forward, we will have to pay 10% of the total amount. and the feds will cover 90% of the rest of the total amount. So this is the only project that we had on the board that was done after that March 5th cutoff and didn't get to the feds before, or it's actually the Federal Highway Association before that time period. So we would like to indefinitely defer this one until we can take a further look and determine if we have the funding and the desire to do the 10%. The rest of these were put through before the March 5th deadline, and so we do have the federal funding for 100% of the rest of these. Um, we just now need to come to an agreement on the TDOT agreement. So that's what that's what you're looking at at voting on tonight. Thank you so much. Is there a motion? It's been it's been moved and properly seconded. Any discussion? All in favor? Opposed? This bill is indefinitely deferred. Resolution is indefinitely deferred. Okay. Uh, without objection, uh, we could take RS 2017 866 through 870 together. RS 2017 866 sponsors O'Connell, Virtue, and others approves an agreement between the Tennessee Department of Transportation and the Department of Public Works for reimbursement of railroad crossing safety improvements at 14th Avenue North. Resolution RS 2017 867 approves an agreement between the Tennessee Department of Transportation and the Department of Public Works for reimbursement of railroad crossing and safety improvements at Post Road. RS 2017 868 sponsors Sledge, Virtue, and others approves an agreement between the Tennessee Department of Transportation and Department of Public Works for reimbursement of railroad crossing safety improvements at Sattler Avenue. RS-2017-869 sponsors Van Rees, Virtue, and others approves an agreement between TDOT and Department of Public Works for the reimbursement of railroad cross and safety improvements at Nesbitt Lane. RS-2017-870 sponsors Freeman, Virtue, and others approves an agreement between TDOT and the Department of Public Works for the reimbursement of railroad cross and safety improvements at Old Glen, Glen Rose Avenue. Is there a motion? It's been moved and properly seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Motion passes. Opposed? Motion passes. RS 2017-888. Sponsors Virtue and Gilmore approves a grant from the Tennessee Department of Health to the Metro Board of Health to promote the control and surveillance of mosquito-borne diseases such as West Nile and Zika virus transmission in Tennessee. Is there a motion? It's been moved and properly seconded. Any discussion? Council Lady Weiner. Thank you, Chair. I appreciate it. Um, is there somebody from Health Department here? Mr. Sharp. Um, I would like to ask just a couple of questions about this. Mr. One. Sharp, when you come up, please state your name and department for the viewing audience. Tom Sharp from the Metropolitan Public Health Department. Um, thank you so much. 
Couple of questions. What are we spending now on this? And is this going to require additional staffing? And what is the criteria for evaluation of your neighborhood? That's three. Oops. <laughs> um, what are we spending now? I couldn't, I couldn't tell you. I mean, I can't tell you off the top of my head. I can find out. Thank you. Um, um, the second one was, will it require additional staffing? This is for additional staff. I believe he wants to hire two part-time folks for this. Is this renewable so that are we going to get stuck with that staffing? No, I don't think so. This is, it's, a, it's a finite grant, and I think he's got these part-time people for the term of that grant okay. is the idea. And the third one was? Um, the criteria for your neighborhood to be evaluated. Uh, mostly to ask. I mean, we try to go whenever somebody says they have an issue, we try to go. We know there are certain spots in the area, low-lying spots, that tend to stay wet a lot. Um, yeah, where we go on a regular basis, but if somebody has a real problem, let us know and we'll try to get out there and set some traps and see what's going on out there. Thank you so much, Chair. That's all I had. Thank you, Council Lady. Seeing no further discussion, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. RS 2017-889 sponsors Vircher and Gilmore approves a grant from the National Association of County and City Health Officials to the Metro Board of Health to provide programmatic activities to reduce HIV and other STDs among adolescents. Is there a motion? It's been moved and properly seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Opposed? Motion carries. RS 2017-891 sponsors Vircher and Roten approves an agreement between the Department of Parks and Recreation and the United States the Department of Ag to cooperate in a wildlife damage management program. Is there a motion? It's been moved and properly seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Opposed? Motion carries. RS 2017-892 sponsors Vircher and Withers, approves a grant from the Tennessee Department of Labor and Workforce Development to the Nashville Career Advancement Center to establish and carry out infrastructure funding agreement services. Is there a motion? It's been, it's been moved and properly seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Opposed? Motion carries. RS 2017-893 sponsors Vircher and Withers approves an amendment to a grant from the Tennessee Department of Labor and Workforce Development to the Nashville Career Center and provide reemployment and eligibility assessment services. Is there a motion? It's been moved and properly seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none. Council Lady Weiner. Thank you, Chair. Just one question. What's the criteria for inclusion in this program? We have someone. <laughs> Hello, Patrick Holmes at Nashville Career Advancement Center. Uh, for these funds, the reemployment funds, these are for people that are currently recipients of unemployment insurance uh, to receive uh, funds under those. Otherwise, uh, anyone over the age of 18 uh, at our career centers and youth uh, 14 and up for youth programs. Okay, thank you for the clarification. Thank you, Council Lady. Seeing no further discussion, all in favor? Opposed? Motion carries. RS 2017-894 sponsors Vircher and Roberts accepts a donation from Music City, Inc. to Metro for the use and benefit of the Nashville Fire Department. Is there a motion? It's been moved and properly seconded. Um, we have a question from a committee member. If someone um, from the fire department can come up and speak to you, um, where would this equipment be used? Yes, I'm Leanne Birchall with the Nashville Fire Department. Um, this particular piece of equipment is a UTV that will be used by our EMS division. It will have a bed on the back so that we can transport patients in small areas where we can't get an ambulance. Thank you so much. Seeing no further discussion, all in favor? Opposed? Motion carries. RS 2017-895 sponsors Vircher and Roberts approves an Edward Byrne Memorial Justice Assistance Grant from the United States Department of Justice to the Metro Police Department for specialized training and equipment for criminal investigation and crime reduction initiatives. Is there a motion? 
that's been moved and properly seconded. Council Lady Wiener. Thank you, Chair. I've got a couple of questions for the fire department, please. Police department. I meant police department. I'm still on the it's last okay. one in my head. Good afternoon. Thank you. So, um, first of all, is this going to cover all of the expense, or will we, for the equipment, have to eventually look at 4% money? This is the app. This is my understanding is this is the process for the application for the mm -hmm. grant. Mm -hmm. um, the actual award hasn't been provided yet, right. so I don't know what the actual final number is going to be just yet. Okay, so we haven't done any kind of evaluation over what the overall cost would be as compared to what we're going to get in grant money if we award it. I, I don't have that answer for you today, but I can get it to you. That'd be great. Yes. That'd be great. Um, additionally, um, is curiously, is it a short-term, a long-term grant? Will we bring, be bringing on new staff that will eventually have to bring into our operating budget expense? Not to, this grant isn't typically used to hire staff. It's the, this is the grant that we do each year, um, it's the, known as the JAG grant. Um, and it's, uh, I believe it has a life of three years. Um, so it is active for a three year period and then it's closed out. Okay, so just training and equipment, that's it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Yep. That's all I have. Thank you, Council Lady. Seeing no further discussion, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. RS 2017-896, sponsor Vercher, authorizes the Department of Law to compromise and settle the personal injury claim of Casey Mer Mercer and the subrogation claim of Allstate Insurance Company against Metro on the amount of $30,000. Is there a motion? It's been moved and properly seconded. Councilman Russ Pulley. Yes, uh, somebody from the police department or Metro Legal can answer these questions. I have a few brief ones. Um, we got, it looks like we got two, 896 and 897, where it just simply states a police officer attempts to make a turn. Uh, there's a pretty big disparity in the suspensions or the disciplinary action that was handed down from one to the other. And uh, neither one really says anything that the police officers did wrong. I'm just curious about that. The difference in suspensions has to do with uh, departmental policy with respect to um, one of them was a first offense. In other words, it was the officer's oh, so first So it has to do with history? Yes, sir. It doesn't have to do with the individual act? Not completely. No, okay. sir. Okay. Yes. Uh, can you give me some insight as to what they did? Because one says turn and left, and the other says you turn, but it doesn't really speak to the liability that we are really paying for here. Do you want to address the liability issue on the first one? Uh, for the first one, uh, the officer made a left turn. He was attempting to uh, pull over another vehicle. He did not have his lights or sirens activated, and he made a left turn in front of, the, in front of another vehicle. I got you. On the other one, uh, the officer made a U-turn, uh, and it was an improper U-turn and was struck by another vehicle. So. And, okay, and, and you, I think you answered my questions about the suspensions. Those tend to do with history more so than anything else. We get a right, wide variety. Some are written reprimands and other six-day suspension. So, yes, sir. Anyway, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you, Councilman. Seeing no further discussion, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. RS 2017-897 sponsors Vercher, authorizes the Department of Law to compromise and settle personal injury claim of Asia Smelly against Metro government in the amount of $40,000. Is there a motion? It's been moved and properly seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Opposed? Motion carries. RS 2017-898 sponsors Vercher, authorizes the Department of Law to compromise and settle the property damage claim a share for railroad properties incorporated against Metro in the amount of $56,500. Is there a motion? It's been moved and properly seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Opposed? Motion carries. RS 2017-899 sponsors Vercher, authorizes the Department of Law to compromise and settle the property damage claim of Vape USA against Metro on the amount of $54,221. Is there a motion? It's been moved and properly seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Opposed? Motion carries.
RS-2017-900 sponsors Roberts, Virtue, and others approves a housing incentive grant agreement between Metro, Mike, and Development, LLC for the conversion of workforce housing units located at 1211 51st Avenue North. Is there a motion? Moved. It's been moved and properly seconded. Councilman Mendez. I guess uh, first I understood that this is going to be um, deferred, um, and so I'll go ahead and make that motion. Um, but I do want to um, uh, get, uh, I, th I think because this is the first time this program's been used, um, it would be a good idea, my suggestion, it's up to you obviously, Chair, is to collect questions that we might have so um, we can use the, the one meeting deferral to, to get uh, more answers. Um, first, I, I want to say I appreciate Adrian um, Harris putting together the memo and working through the kinks um, since this is, is the first time the program has been used. Um, and, and these questions I've already shared with her, but um, for the group, I want to say um, I've seen the pro forma for this. Um, the pro forma calls for two short term rentals um, in a, a project that will be subsidized uh, uh, for affordable and workforce housing by the city. And I'm, I'm curious um, why short-term rentals are included. Um, I understand the um, resolution will need to be changed to not refer to these being conversion units um, because they're, they're new units. I think Mr. Jamison's already aware of that. Um, I uh, had a hard time understanding how to connect the terms of the program we passed um, and as far as how the rent would be determined um, with how the pro forma worked. Um, and I, then I guess the um, last couple questions is uh, to ask who the third party administrator that's gonna be determining affordability is um, and who the management company is that is going to be um, running the, the retail because um, it struck me that the, uh, the pro forma was sort of a, a rich price for managing two small retail locations. Um, but again, those are the questions. Uh, Ms. Harris already knows about those and uh, um, renew the motion to defer. Thank, thank you. It's been properly moved and seconded for a one meeting deferral. All in favor? I'm sorry, any discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Motion is deferred for one meeting. RS-2017-901 sponsors Kendall, Vircher, and Allen approves an amendment to lease agreement between Metro and Eckert Corporation. We do have a letter from the sponsor for approval. Is there a motion? It's been moved and properly seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none. All in favor? Opposed? Motion carries. BL 2017-870 sponsors Virtue Allen declares the property at 3410 Knight Road as surplus and authorizes the director of public property to sell the property to KIPP. Um, I believe we have some amendments on this. Uh. Did I skip one or two? Oh, give me one second. Got ahead of myself. RS 2017-902 sponsors Virtue supplement substitute resolution RS 2010-1442 to authorize the ex execution terms, issuance, sale, and payment of water and sewer revenue bonds in an aggregate principal amount not to exceed $300,000. I'm sorry, yeah. And authorizing the use of available funds for all or a portion of the remaining outst outstanding water and sewer revenue refunding bonds. Is there a motion? It's been moved and properly seconded. Councilman Mendez. Thank you, Chair. Um, I think this is a question that uh, I'm gonna direct toward both Mr. Jamison and I see bond counsel in the back. I'd like to ask him to. Um, I just wanna make sure that, because um, it's a long resolution with lots of complicated stuff in it, um, I wanna make sure that we're 100% clear that there's absolutely nothing in this resolution that would impact in any way, shape, or form um, funding for a flood wall at all. I did not. 
did not detect that, I would be a fool not to defer to Mr. Oldham, who are a bond counsel from Bassbury and Sims. Yeah, this is to retire existing commercial paper that's already been uh, issued to fund water and sewer projects. So n no impact at all on a flood wall one way or another? No. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Councilman Glover. Thank you, Chair. And are we following the same guidelines when we refund uh, these bonds with the water uh, or any other uh, Metro Department as we do when we uh, uh, refund the bonds uh, through the city general government? With the amount of savings, I'm so, so what's the anticipated amount of savings here, I guess is the simple question. These aren't actually refunding bonds, they're new bonds to retire commercial paper. Okay, all right, so I'm sorry, I'm, 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 I misread or misunderstood that, okay. All right, so, uh, all right, that, that answers it, thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Councilman Cooper. Uh, thank you, Madam Chairman. A quick question, uh, if somebody would come in on the cumulative debt for the water department. It's on. The amount of current outstanding debt is uh, 678 million, and this will be an additional 275 million on top of that. So, it's already been approved, right? Well, there's no new, no there's new no debt. New debt shifting from commercial paper to this. So, you add those two numbers. Correct. So that would be six. Six seventy eight plus the two seventy five. Plus the two seventy five. Um, my head. That's just under a billion dollars. Okay, of of, of borrowings. Specific for the, water, specifically for the water department. Bonds. Thank you. Grateful. Just under a billion dollars. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Seeing no further discussion, all in favor? Opposed? Motion carries. Bills on second reading. BL 2017-870, sponsors Virtue and Allen, declares the property at 3410 Knight Road as surplus and authorizes the director of public property to sell the property to Kip Nashville. And we do have uh, some amendments. We have two. Councilman Glover. Thank you, Chair. I just wanted to move my amendment, and if I could have Mr. Jamison explain it and what it actually accomplishes, please. Under the charter, the proceeds from the sale of a school in the situation goes to the school's fund. Uh, Councilman Glover's amendment would specifically designate that those funds be used for debt service payments within the school's debt service fund. Thank you. Councilman Mendez. I guess I'll ask, uh, um, how does, does the administration have a position on that one way or another? The administration? We, we were fine with the amendment. Thanks. Councilman Prottmore, we haven't taken the motion on the amendment, but Councilman Prottmore, is that what you were going to say? No, I was. Okay. I, I had a, another question, but I can do that after the motion. Well, we're in discussion of the motion, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, my my question would be: What else would the money be earmarked for, for through the school board? Uh, if they, if there's someone here from the school board that could, I know you were wanted. Uh, Cap, my colleague wants to um, designate directly to debt reduction on uh, from the school board's end, but I'm. Where else would that have gone? Where else, where would that have been used by the school? We have schools here. David Prophet, Director of Facilities and Construction for Metro Schools. Um, to be quite frank, Councilman, that has not been determined at this point. Typically, it goes back into the um, operational funds. And at that point, um, it might be used for other internal projects that need funding. I, I haven't, we haven't gone that far yet to determine. So I'll do respect to my colleague. That that's an honorable task or request to get it to, for debt reduction. However, at the end of the day, is it possible that they would just that money that if it was earmarked for something else, 
we'll just see that at the next request of the school's budget. Is that correct? I mean, is, and that's a possibility, correct? It depends on where they're planning on using it. So my point is, it's going toward debt reduction, but we're going to see that re that money may be needed at the next uh, budget request from the school board. That was more of a statement than a question since they couldn't come up with where the money was gonna be earmarked for. So it, it could come up again at the end of the, uh, at, during the budget process next year. I think it would be speculative. We won't know not until they come before us and actually present the budget, Councilman. Thank you. Yep. I applaud Councilman Glover's efforts in this. Councilman Mendez. Further discussion. Any further discussion on the amendment? It's been, it's been moved and properly seconded. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Amendment passes. Um, Councilman Mendez, I believe you had an amendment also. Thank you. Uh, I do have an amendment in the package to um, uh, substitute the um, purchase and sale agreement with an amended purchase and sale agreement. Um, several of us uh, at the last meeting um, requested that there be built in a, a right of first refusal um, if KIPP um, goes to sell the property. And we also discussed the idea that uh, Metro would be guaranteed to get notice of any uh, foreclosure um, if a lender were ever to foreclose. Um, and so the um, purchase and sale agreement that appears in the amendments package adds a paragraph six, which has the right of first refusal. Um, I understand that uh, KIPP and Metro Legal are um, both okay with it. Um, I, I appreciate everybody having the patience um, with me working through the language over the weekend. Um, and with that, I'd move um, this amendment. It's been moved and properly seconded. Any discussion on the amendment? Seeing none, all in favor? Opposed? Amendment passes. Now we're on the bill as amended. Is there a motion? It's been moved and properly seconded. Any discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Motion passes. BL 2017 904 sponsors O'Connell Henderson amends the Metro Code relative to economic and community development incentive grants. Is there a motion? It's been moved and properly seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. BL 2017-905 sponsors Wiener O'Connell amends the Metro Code to establish a merit-based grant program. Is there a motion? So Council Lady Wiener. Thank you, Chair. Um, just a, a quick explanation. I do have an amendment I'd like to move, and it's more of a change of wording from Department of Finance being responsible for the management of this to the uh, Metro government in general and that would fall on the administration, and so we agreed to change the wording. So I need to move that amendment. Okay, please. is there a second? Right. It's been moved and properly seconded. Any discussion on the amendment? All in favor? Opposed? Amendment passes. Now we're on the bill as amended. Okay, thank you. I'd like to move the bill as amended with a brief explanation. The bill, is there, uh, the bill, has, the bill has been moved and properly seconded. Any discussion? All in favor? Counselor. Council Lady Wiener. You're rushing me. <laughs> Council Lady Wiener. Okay, thank you so much. Um, just quickly, this merit-based program is akin to our Community Enhancement Fund grant that you'll see me withdraw in 906. Um, Metro is not using that Community Enhancement Fund grant program any longer. One of the things that came out of our budget process and the tweaking that we wanted to do, this is just another piece of that, and we are going to use this merit-based program to look at nonprofit organization funding outside of our operating budget. So that's what this is about, and I would appreciate your support. Thank you. Thank you, Council Lady. Councilman Glover, were you seeking recognition? Yeah, actually, it was, it was on the amendment. I was trying to just get a clarification a little bit clearer, but we've already passed it, so the question's irrelevant. Thank you. 
Seeing no further discussion, all in favor? Opposed? Motion carries. BL 2017 sponsors Wiener O'Connell amends the Metro Code to reestablish the Community Enhancement Fund grant program. Councilman Prabble. Oh. Council Lady Wiener. Thank you. Um, in light of 905 passing, and this was a placeholder, I'd like to withdraw 906. It's been, it's been moved and properly second, seconded. Um, any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Opposed? Bill has been withdrawn. Bill 2017-909 sponsors O'Connell, provides honorary designation of Bridgestone Drive for a portion of 4th Avenue South. I believe we have an amendment. One second, you won't light up. There you go, Councilman O'Connell. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, just by way of explanation here, we are looking at, uh, we got a request to basically do an honorary designation uh, for this portion of fourth. Uh, we have talked to key stakeholders along uh, the stretch there. This basically just adds uh, an honorary sign designation is not a full renaming of uh, Bridgestone, and I believe the applicant is here if anybody has any questions, but uh, there is also an amendment here to allow for three rather than two signs, and I guess uh, it would be appropriate for me to ask uh, for the committee to move the amendment as well so that we get the amended bill. Is there a motion? Moved. It's been moved and properly seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Now we're on the bill as amended. Is there a motion? It's been moved and properly seconded. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. BL 2017-910, Vircher, Withers, and Allen approves a master telecommunications facility licensing agreement to be used by Metro departments, agencies, boards, and commissions to license their assets and infrastructure to licensees for location of telecommunication facilities on them. And I believe we have an amendment. Is there a motion to move the amendment? Move. It's been moved and properly seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Now we're on the bill as amended. Is there a motion? It's been moved and properly seconded. Any discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Motion carries. We're almost there. BL 2017-801 sponsors AIRROD amends the Metro Code to require a report from the Department of Public Works regarding obstructions or excavations which close or occupy any portion of the public right-of-way for the period of excess of six months. I believe we have a substitute on this. Is there a motion? So moved. It's been moved and properly seconded. Councilman Pulley. Yes, I'd, uh, on behalf of Councilman Elrod, can I move the substitute? That's an amendment. That's an amendment. It's an amendment. Can I move the amendment? You can. I so move it. <laughs> it's been moved and properly seconded. Any discussion on the amendment? Seeing none, all in favor? Opposed? Now you're on the bill as amended. I move the bill as amended. Is there a, uh, is there a second? It's been moved and properly seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Opposed? Motion carries. Motion. 
So also today, you, you should have received an, an email reminder. Thank you, Mr. Jameson, uh, for reminding me to remind uh, you to make sure that you submit um, your CIB requests um, by October 15th. Um, and that concludes um, our Budget and Finance Committee meeting. Y'all were rushing me. <laughs>